It is a great pleasure to be joined here by Jim Mackingvale. Of course, I think you know him by now. Mattress Mac, the furniture store owner in Houston, Texas, who has gone to the DK Sportsbook and placed a big wager, almost $3.5 million on the Bucks to cover 3.5 points against the Chiefs in the big game coming up on Sunday. Mattress Mac, how are you, buddy? I'm great, Adam. Great to be on the show with you. Well, obviously, I mean, I, I, I don't really know where to start. It's like I want to say congratulations for, you know, bringing such notoriety to the DK Sportsbook. Or also, maybe thank you. <laughs> but obviously, you know, what, what goes in, you know, into the mindset of placing such a, uh, a huge wager on this game? First of all, I have to thank DraftKings for being so accommodating. Uh, DraftKings made that uh, huge wager uh, fun, easy, and convenient for me. So thanks to the DraftKings team. Uh, what people don't realize is there's very little capacity out there in the sports legal sports betting market in the United States for a, a wager of that size. So DraftKings was super accommodating. I can't thank you all enough. All I had to do was fly to uh, Colorado. They uh, uh, helped me do the uh, wager in the middle of the night. And then uh, I hopped back on the plane and flew back home. So DraftKings was super. And uh, what goes through my mind, trying to cover my, cover my promotion. <laughs> well, I want to get to the promotion. That's, you know, the, the huge story here. But first, I got to start with that plane ride that you just alluded to, because I saw the video that was out on social media of you. It, literally, I mean, flying from from Texas to Colorado there to place that bet. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching and I'm thinking, did he even get off the plane or did just, you know, you get into the uh, to the airspace, you land and, and place the bet and then back on your way. Yeah, we left at 10 o'clock at night and the flight was uh pretty bumpy coming to Colorado. The winds were about 60 miles an hour. So the plane's going like this, which makes it more exciting. <laughs> we landed and uh, it was 34 degrees, and about 60 mile an hour wind in Colorado Springs, which is one, Colorado Springs, one of my favorite places. That's why I wanted to go there. So I went into the, uh, the terminal there and spent about 30 minutes and got it all done and hopped back. The plane got refueled and we came back to Texas. So I got home at four o'clock, like an NBA player would. I went to sleep four hours, <laughs> got back up and came back to work. I got to pay back that money I bet with DK. Well, I don't want to say this is old hat for you. I mean, placing a, a three and a half million dollar bet is not old hat for anybody, but you have been down this road before, you know, going back to the World Series a couple of years ago, placing a large wager on the Houston uh, Astros to win the series. Unfortunately, obviously that one didn't come to fruition. But, you know, when when you're placing a bet like this, what's going through your mind? Uh, you know, not a lot. I, I bet on the Astros to win the World Series in 2019. I think cumulatively about 17 million. So that was a lot. And uh, what, what's going through my mind, the various scenarios, the, you know, the odds and that sort of thing. And really a huge factor is ha how to get the money to the uh, legal sports wagering entity. And then how accommodating will they be on a big wager? And, you know, you, you talk to them about what the price is going to be, then they keep, they keep the price the same when you get there a day or so later. And DK was very accommodating with that. So again, my hat's off to DK. The big thing is, you know, I run these promotions and we got to hedge it off and uh, DK helped me do that. And plus uh, doing sports wagering with the customers, customers love it. It's, it's not a wager. They're not going to lose anything because they're going to get a mattress here regardless but it makes it more fun and more exciting and brick and mortar retailing nowadays needs things that are uh, exciting and relevant nothing's more exciting than the and more relevant in this country than the super bowl especially after the rough year we've all had tell me more about this promotion because i know you did something similar obviously again for that world series before houston fell to washington what yeah. went on then versus now well it was a nine month promotion houston versus washington that's why the dollars got to be so large. This one, uh, I didn't even start thinking about the promotion until, you know, uh, Tampa Bay won and, uh, of course, Kansas City won. And uh, Brady versus Mahomes is a perfect, uh, you know, scenario, uh, the best of the old versus the best of the new. So I call my lawyer, this lady that does my legal work on these contracts for the promotion, and she said, uh, which team does the uh, customers get? I said, they get Tampa Bay. She said, oh, my goodness, Tampa Bay. They got Tom Brady. You got no chance. So <laughs> I, I knew the value of the Tom Brady name brand. And then I already knew it, but it, it solidified in my mind. And so what went in my mind was let's have a fun promotion and figure out how to uh, lay off some of the exposure uh, with uh, a legal sports entity and DraftKings stepped up. 
That was one of the things that I was wondering, you know, when obviously you'd done the promotion, the much larger one that you mentioned surrounding the Astros, well, furniture stores in Houston, that makes all the sense in the world. So with this one, was it more about the, the Brady Mahomes factor? For instance, if, you know, if it was Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers, Bill's Green Bay, is, is this promotion not happening? Uh, probably not because it didn't have as much buzz on it. You know, you, mm-hmm. you want to make sure everybody thinks they have a, a really good opportunity to win. And with Brady, uh, six Super Bowls, how do you not have an opportunity? So that, that was a big factor. And I got to tell you, the buzz on this promotion has been incredible in Houston, people buying mattresses left and right. And, uh, my exposure is growing by the second. <laughs> well, how confident are you? The bucks cover the spread then? Well, you know, I think they got a great, they got a great uh, chance and, uh, you know, I'm confident that they very well could win this game. I think it's going to be a great football game come down to the fourth quarter and whichever way the ball bounces, one of the two teams is going to win. So I think it's a classic matchup and I think uh, kudos to the NFL and them for giving us all something to look forward to this Sunday after a rough 12 months with this coronavirus pandemic and other things. Being the big sports fan that you are and, and something of a sports historian, I imagine as well. I mean, you know, monetary elements aside, are you all in on, on Tom Brady win number seven? Do you, you know, you, you like the story? You want to see this one guy have more championships individually than any other franchise in NFL history? You know, there's an NFL player in Houston. His name is Landon Roberts. Mm-hmm. He played football at U of H and then he was uh, drafted by the Patriots. Mm-hmm. He went up to the Patriots and, you know, he, he had 50 50 chance of making the team he said the first day in the locker room tom brady came over and talked to him for 30 minutes he made the team and said quite often he'd be waiting at the practice facility for his wife to come pick him up and tom brady would always ask him kind of give you a ride home how, how can you not like somebody like that and he said tom brady knew everybody's name from the ladies in the cafeteria uh, all the way to the top and bottom so uh i liked what he said uh what was quoted he said after the tampa bay won the nfc championship some of the players were crying in the locker room. And he said, what the blank are you doing that for? We're not done yet. So I right. love the guy and, uh, you know, 43 years old, still going out there playing the game. Of course, Mahomes is terrific too. So again, it's an exciting football game, lots of buzz. And, you know, for us to be associated with the, uh, uh, the fans to be able to have watch and hopefully win their matches makes it even more exciting for us. You've mentioned it and we thank you for it, obviously, how easy DraftKings has made this process for you. But what made you decide to go through the DK Sportsbook to make this wager? You know, I'd done I'd done business with DraftKings before doing the baseball thing. And the baseball thing I did so much, I was laying it off everywhere. I was flying to New Jersey, flying to Mississippi, flying to Las Vegas. And uh, with this bet, $3.6 million, I'd been talking to the DraftKings guys, uh, in particular Dylan, and he worked it all out. We wired the money up there, said so just fly up there. And I, I was talking to Dylan on FaceTime at uh, 12 o'clock Colorado time, which would be like uh, 2 o'clock New York time. And he was a trooper. He helped me get through the whole thing. I'm not the most digitally literate person in the world. And <laughs> Dylan got it done. The, the bet was placed, and uh, the rest is history. So, again, uh, uh, I, I'm in the customer service business. I appreciate great customer service, and I appreciate people caring about the customers, and DK does a great job of doing that. Well, you've joined us on Zoom here, so I think technologically speaking, you've adopted just, you know, adapted just fine. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm good at Zoom as far as using that app and those other, other things. I could use a little practice. I think what the people want to know, obviously, all the money that was put on the Astros a couple of years back. Now, obviously, the Bucks to cover the spread right now. Looking down the line, and maybe as soon as this weekend, you got Major League Eating. I don't know. DraftKings has a partnership with MLE. we got a lot of great stuff going on with them. Any other large wagers coming down the line for you? Well, I, was t- I, was, uh, I did a uh, computer giveaway and a printer giveaway with my friend Alex Bregman yesterday mm-hmm. to uh, a bunch of... Uh, students here locally that didn't have computers and printers and Alex came out and did all the work and I was asking him how the Astros are going to do he said they're going to do really good this year so got me fired up about maybe making some futures wages on Astros winning the World Series in 2021. That's what we like to hear. Mattress Mac thank you so much and obviously best of luck this weekend hopefully uh, you know above all else it's a great game and uh, looking forward to chatting again down the line. You know what I'm really looking forward to? What's I'm that? looking forward to watching the DraftKings commercial. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you're going to see a couple yeah. of those. Get ready. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a marketing guy and, and a firm that can step up and spend that kind of money. I have all the respect in the world for we have like two commercials in the Super Bowl here locally in Houston. But y'all are stepping up big time. So I can't wait to see that commercial and see the promotion you're running. 
And I can't wait to see Tampa win. That'll be great for everybody in Houston. And we'll give away lots of free matches, lots of great night's sleep. And thanks to DK for all your hard work in making this fast, easy, and convenient for all of us. 